Howdy, good afternoon and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, got something a little bit different for you. We're not doing Chevy content, no Duramax, no Blazer, not even a Jeep. We're doing something with a really, really cool Ford. Right off the bat, don't mind uh, the Blazer with the 50 cal on it. I'm selling the 720S, as you guys, I think, would know by now. Um, and maybe getting a newer truck is on the list. But this truck right here is courtesy of my friends over at Beachmont Ford. And uh, this is the third vehicle that I've gotten from them. And they're an awesome dealership out in Ohio. They can build you anything you want. If you want a supercharged Mustang with a warranty, you got it. Maybe you want a Whipple F-150 like I reviewed a couple of... Um, probably, I guess now about a month or two ago, you got that as well. And then if you want a retro styled brand new pickup truck, I have some good news. You are in luck because they now offer the BFP, the Beachmont Ford Performance Retro F-150. Like a lot of people, I am totally and completely in love with old trucks from the 1970s and 1980s. For me, kind of the golden era of pickup trucks. And when they said they were gonna do that styling on a new one, I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna turn out. But I have to say, I think they pulled it off. I love the roll hoop in chrome with the KC lights. I love the old school wheels in chrome. And as you guys know, it's kind of shocking to hear me say that because normally I hate chrome, but I think it really does work on this truck right here, especially with that blue color. Now I should mention on that note, you can get any truck you want. You can get it in blue, you can get it in red, you can get it in bulldog, you can get it in any color while well, that Ford offers, and you can get it in any trim level. So this one is an F-150 XLT, but you could get a platinum or even a work truck if you wanna go bargain basement, they'll do any truck for you, but they do recommend one that has chrome already. So like the XLT has the chrome door handles, the chrome grill, and all that stuff, which kind of matches the chrome accents of the truck, but you can do it on any trim level you want. Before we dive on in, I got to show you the key like I always do, and the key is pretty normal. Uh, nothing really to see here. It's not special. Not like the Raptor key. Uh, it will be a normal F-150 key, and on this side you have the lock and unlock, but it does have automatic start. It's got that, but it doesn't have push button start. It's got the old school key. It is a switchblade key, which is fun to play with, but you guys know my opinion on push button start, I think every new vehicle should have it. Not because I wanna be fancy and cool, but because it's really convenient to not ever have to take the key out of your pocket and fumble with it and maybe lose it. I like push button start. The retro package, it comes with everything you see here and it's only 9,999 bucks, a figure about 10 grand, uh, but it comes with a lot of stuff. It comes with a three and a half inch ready lift, which three and a half inch might not sound like a lot, but any guy will tell you, inches matter even if it's only three and because these new trucks are pretty tall from the factory i mean this truck right here at only a three and a half inch lift sits about as tall as my duramax on a 10 inch lift then you have the polished chrome mickey thompson 17 inch wheels wrapped in a 35 inch that's right it's on 35s a bfg all-terrain ko2 uh, in a 35 by 12 and a half 17 which i believe are the same tires uh, that come on the raptor from the factory and they're not you know they, they also might not look that big because it's not like a really chunky mud tire but it's pretty good it's going to offer decent off-road performance but mainly you know on-road performance for daily driving on down the side of the truck you got that awesome white graphic it is in fact a wrap uh, they wrap around the door handles inside of the door jams and i mean that's the cool part for me is the white and again, I really, really love it in this blue color. I think that works perfectly. Blue or red, I think is what I would pick. I feel like that accents the white and the chrome perfectly, but that's my opinion. Then moving on to the back, my favorite part by far is that black horse double roll hoop, roll bar, whatever you want to call it in chrome with the KC lights on top. That is the cherry on top, the icing on the cake, the KC lights with the yellow cover that looks like the face. Uh, that is perfection and I'm so glad they did that. Now they are controlled by a little switch on the inside 
and it's an aftermarket switch they put in, but it doesn't look out of place uh, in the interior of the truck, and I think it's pretty cool. It works well, and again, that's gotta be my favorite part of the whole truck. Moving on to the back of the truck, this one does have the tow package, and it has a backup camera made standard by the US government for all new vehicles, and I feel like if this truck wasn't mandated to have one, it might not, because this one, unfortunately, doesn't have the soft open tailgate. It does have a little LED light for you there on the side when you press the unlock button. And yes, it does lock and unlock. But like I said, when you open it, it just falls and flops, which I think all new trucks should have the soft open, but that's my opinion. And this particular truck does not have a bed liner. You might notice that your giant roll hoop does in fact cover your third brake light, but they got you covered because they installed one in the roll hoop. But when you lock and unlock the vehicle, for example, the regular cab light still lights up and you can use that for the bed because the roll hoop doesn't really block it for bed lighting, but it does block it for vehicles behind you. This truck does come with the Roush exhaust and it sounds epic. And I feel like for this truck, if you're gonna go with the retro styling and all that, you gotta go with a V8. You can't get the EcoBoost. They didn't have that EcoBoost crap in the 1970s and 80s. You don't need that. They had old V8s and that's what you need for this truck. You need a big burly V8. Take a listen to this one. Sorry, there is simply no way you can drive this down the road and not have the V8 sound to go with it. You, you just can't. Headlights are massive, absolutely enormous. Uh, it does also have fog lights as well. And it's got a big grill with a big Ford emblem, but I have to say it looks great going down the road. It looks really menacing coming towards you. I love the look of Ford headlights and the grill design. I think it's one of the better looking ones out there right now. Come back to the shoes that this guy right here is wearing. I love the little wheel with the big tire look. It's a great off-roading look. It's an old school look. Uh, it's not like modern trucks where most of them have 20 inch wheels, 22 inch wheels. I mean, from the factory trucks have huge wheels now. And I like the fact that they went with an old, uh, an older looking smaller wheel uh, for this package here and a bigger tire. I think it looks, again, it's functional and it looks the part. To the lift kit for a second, I believe it is a uh, coil spring spacer in the front and a lift block in the back. I know it's a lift block in the back. And I think it's a coil spacer up front. I think that's how they got the three and a half inches of lift and it's leveled out. It looks really good. Two more little things to talk about on the outside of the truck. It does have a power rear window operated by a button above you in the center console. And it does have the classic Ford keypad on the outside of the door for when you leave your keys in the truck. Uh, or you can leave them in there deliberately and walk away and come back and lock and unlock the vehicle. I don't think I would ever use it, but I guess it's a cool feature to have. Inside of the truck, the back seat space is insane. I mean, holy crap, you could fit the entire family back here. I love that about new trucks. I mean, it's it's huge. Not that I'm some Doug DeMuro six foot six huge guy or anything or whatever his height is, which changes every video depending on which one you watch. Uh, I'm not exactly a huge guy, but I'm not that small either. I'm 190 pounds you could easily fit three of me back here. Uh, you also have USB ports and a power outlet to keep your rear seat occupants occupied. Front, it's pretty typical Ford that we all know and love. They got a great system for the infotainment. It's got all the buttons you need. This one does have heated seats. Got the four wheel drive on the little pull knob here that you can pull for the locking rear diff, which is really neat. Uh, then you got four high and four low. It's got the trailer backup system. Over here is all your lighting. Again, that button for the KC lights. And like I said, you know, it really, you know, it doesn't look out of place at all. It's really nicely done, I think. And then you got all your other lights, like your cab lights and your fog lights and your headlights and whatever else you might need lighting wise. Over here on the right, you got your glove box and another power outlet with the 12 volt uh, outlet as well. I love that about new trucks. I think the power outlet is genius. You have a little storage compartment here with more USB ports in it if you need it with a little sliding cover on it. You got your cup holders, you got some other type of holder, a phone holder, and then the massive center console with a sliding tray in it. Uh, so there's plenty of storage inside of a new F-150. To actually start up the truck, and this is crucial, I'm gonna go slow uh, so you kids out there who have never done it before can follow along. You get out your key. There's gonna be a slot here that you put it in and you insert the key there and then you turn. And if you keep turning, 
the vehicle will eventually turn on. And then once it turns on, just like release it. Don't keep holding it forward, just let it go back. And that's how it will be. I know that most cars don't have that. I know it's kind of an old thing, um, but I hope you guys can follow along. All pretty normal and pretty standard stuff that you guys have seen before, but one thing I do love, and I don't know when Ford did this. Oh, we got our music on. I don't know when Ford did this, but I'm so glad they did. They added the column shifter. Oh my God, I love the column shifter. You guys know I've talked about it before. I think every truck should have one, and it just feels so much more manly and truck-like when you slam it in gear. You can, you know, you're sitting there, you're ready to go, you put it in gear. I hate the fact that some trucks have the shifter thing in the middle. I don't like that at all. I think trucks should have the column and that is something I'm all about. And it, it makes sense because when you don't have the shifter in the middle, you free up so much room. I don't know why they ever did that. Now I get it for cars because it's like, you know, a performance thing, you got your gear shifter, but for trucks, it makes perfect sense to me not to have that. And I don't like Dodge's thing either with the knob. This is perfect. Ford, thank you for doing that. I hope it's like that on all new trucks going forward. You can also see this Ford has the 10 speed transmission that Ford developed with GM. It's pretty good, does a lot of shifting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. I feel like it shifts too much, especially when you have an exhaust on a vehicle that you can hear it. Like it's always like burr, 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 burr. like everywhere you go, it makes, it's just making weird noises because it shifts so often, but it's not bad to drive. I mean, it, it's smooth and you get pretty good gas mileage. I think this truck has the SYNC 3 system, which I'm not gonna really go into because it's pretty standard. You guys all know how an infotainment center works. And up top, you have the prominently displayed traction control button and the auto stop start. This button you have to press every time you get in the truck. Just remember that. Any new Ford, Chevy, any new Ford truck or Chevy truck or any truck like that, you gotta press the auto stop start button because that is incredibly annoying. It's embarrassing and it's weird. You're at a stoplight and your truck shuts off. It, it's like you did something wrong and people look at it, and especially when it's loud. Um, it just, that's not for me. Looking at the window sticker, now this is not including the retro package. So that's separate and you're gonna have to add that on. But this truck here is 52,000 bucks which is a lot of coin, but you get a lot for the money. New trucks are expensive, but you really have to look at it for what they are, and they're a jack of all trades. I mean, they're a work machine. These things can tow a lot of weight and do it well and do it easily. Uh, they're like a luxury car. It's got everything you need in it. Uh, it. It's a family vehicle. It's a daily driver. They're everything. So when you consider that, you know, 50 grand really isn't that much money for what it does. One thing I did notice on the sticker, which I love, that exterior color that I'm such a fan of is blue jeans that is the color of the truck and if that doesn't match up with the retro 1980s theme i don't know what does it's the blue jeans color well played ford well played okay so let's try out the turning radius it's not going to be good i already know that we're on big tires and uh, it can rub if you're not careful it can rub if you're going on like an incline and you're making a sharp turn uh, it can rub because they stuffed in the biggest tire they could and still offer it, you know, at a factory level and have a warranty where it's not ridiculous. You know, they can't put 37s on it, but this truck is really fun to drive. And I have to say, that is the most shocking part for me. It's fun to drive. And I've got it in sport mode here. And in sport mode, it holds gears. <laughs> I mean, and it's actually surprisingly quick too. Like it's not that slow and this is, no engine work, so this is not like supercharged, it's not one of those trucks. No engine work, bone stock, the bone stock Ford V8. And I mean, that sound is incredible. And that's why I feel like you gotta, you gotta have the V8. And I feel like I also need a mullet to be driving around in this truck. I need a mullet with the American flag bandana. And I feel like I'm driving in like the movie Twister or like something like that, or maybe, uh, what's that other one, Tunnels. Or no, what's it? It's Tremors. Tremors is the other one. I feel like I'm driving around in an old 80s movie and I love every minute of it. That's the cool part about this truck is the experience. And I'll tell you what else. I've been driving it now for about two days and I wish I had it for longer. But you get a lot of attention in this. Like I was getting a lot of thumbs up, mostly older guys, but getting a lot of like, hey, thumbs up and that kind of stuff. And I feel people see it and it brings back memories. That's what this truck is. It's nostalgia in vehicle form. They really pulled it off, I gotta say. It's really fun. Now the suspension setup is, again, that three and a half inch lift. 
Uh, I don't know exactly the specs on it. I should know. I'm sorry that I don't. But whatever it is, it drives really, really nice. And the on-road manners are great. Like the steering response is instant, like sports car-like. Really, really good. Uh, probably the best truck I've driven recently, even like the little uh, ZR2, which is really great to drive. This, I think the steering in this is better than that. And this is a full-size truck. So I really like that. I think it's a cool touch. And clearly, uh, Ford has been doing their homework on what people want. <laughs> it's so much fun. I mean, it's just, that's how you want to drive this though. Hit the straight. go over the speed limit but it gets up to the speed limit really fast and you can tell I'm sure by the way stuff has gone past it ain't no slouch I don't even think this truck if I got this truck I don't even think it needs engine work now you could add like a whipple and Beachmont would probably do it for you because you could couple the like the supercharged truck with the retro styling and then you'd really have something crazy imagine that but I feel like it really doesn't need it I mean unless you want to be flying like this truck is like, I'm actually legitimately having fun on a back road. And the fact that it looks so cool do doing it, I mean, that just adds to the whole experience. Really, really love this truck. It's a ton of fun. And I wish you know, I did have more time with it, but that's why I wanted to, uh, I, I jumped at the opportunity. Now it was fun too. And that's why I also wanted to do it uh, for a video. But I also wanted to see, you know, I'm kind of thinking of because my audience clearly loves the truck stuff and I love truck stuff. I'm thinking about maybe getting a newer one and not like an, you know, an old cheap truck, which I have a couple of and I'm building a couple of, uh, but I'm thinking about maybe getting a newer one and maybe something different. I have a diesel, maybe do gas. Um, so something like this would be really neat or get one that's stock and build it up. I don't know. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments, but um, this truck really impressed me and I feel like I would really enjoy owning it. Yes. It's really, it's it's really actually quick. Like actually fast, and I like that. Should mention, so with the retro package and the whole truck, it's gonna be about 62,000 um, bucks, and there might be rebates and, and things on the normal MSRP, so it might be, it's probably a little less than that. And I feel like for 60 Gs, this is a pretty good deal. And again, Beachmont Ford, they do this all the time, and I really don't get how they do it, because they offer a warranty on this stuff, and like if you were gonna buy a lift kit, wheels and tires, the roll hoop, the vinyl work, to do all that and the exhaust, I feel like to do all that would be about 10 grand, if not a little bit more. And they offer it to you for 10 grand, again, with the warranty, which is a great value in and of itself. Um, so I think what Beachmont is doing, they offer all this cool stuff and you can get the supercharged, you can get a 700 horsepower uh, supercharged Mustang for 39,000 bucks. You can get uh, the supercharged F-150 for 39,000 bucks. And then they, it goes up from there. So you can get a Whipple one with even more power, but it's more money, of course. But they offer this stuff for, for so cheap. And I don't get it. I really don't. I love it, but I don't get it. I don't, I, I don't get how they can do it. But I'm glad that they do. Wow. I See, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys won't feel the same way, but I love it. Absolutely. Hey, so uh, sadly the weather kind of went to poop. What did I step on? Uh, the weather kind of went to poop from earlier, um, but I just got a massive delivery. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. I got a massive delivery from my friends over at ProComp USA. Uh, two sets of ProComp mud terrain tires. Uh, and let me know in the comments what you think they might be for. And actually, it's kind. I haven't really revealed what I, one set you should know. The other set might be a mystery, uh, but we also got in the full size spare for the Jeep and ProComp makes the wheels as well. And I actually had the wheel already and I didn't need it, but they must have like looked up what I bought before and hooked me up with the free wheel to go with the tire. So that's pretty cool. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to take this over to Shane so we can put it on the beep and then we can also check on the progress of the wrap, which I'm not, I think he started, but I'm not sure yet. But either way, 
this is gonna look epic. Last night's upload, or depend, might be two days ago, depending on when I upload this, but um, just know that like, I never said that I'm never having a sports car on the channel again, or a fast car, that's not it at all. And you know, I get it, I lost like 3,000 subscribers, which I tell you, you know what? If people got, they gotta do what they gotta do. So I respect it, I get it. I feel like maybe they'll check back in, but it is what it is. Um, but just know that like, I'm gonna have, I'm always gonna have a fast car of some kind. I was just talking about, you know, why I haven't been into them as much and, and where I'm gonna go forward. I guess what I should say really is I'm kind of getting out of the modified car game, or at least like the, the heavily modified car game, you know, when it's 12 grand every time I take my McLaren apart for a little issue, and if I don't get it done by McLaren, then if I have a bigger problem, you know, they're not gonna warranty it or I gotta fight with them, and that's if I can even find you know, somebody cheaper to take it apart, and, and then do I trust somebody taking apart a $300,000 car on the cheap? You know, do I trust them to do that? So, you know, I just, I'm done with like the really modifying stuff, I think, um, but we'll see. You know, you guys know, my channel changes a lot because I'm a guy who likes to do a lot of different things vehicle-wise, and I can go from a 720S to a Blazer and have fun in different ways. So we'll see, but I just know that like, I'm not only doing truck stuff and you know, and there's there's always gonna be cars on my channel as well. The boat? Dude, I don't know if you should, man. <sighs> I could do black and white. Uh, no? Yeah, I mean, I guess do Are you sure? It's up to you. Shane's yeah. boat is re really cool. <laughs> like really cool yeah. right now. Yeah. And I've made fun of him in the past for his raggedy, sort of raggedy looking boat, but it looks good now. Oh man, dude, I want to do everything in this. All right, I'm like doing black everything. and white. Can I, can I do, I'll just do a quick. Yeah. Okay, there you go. It's so sick. Dude, it is it's so sick. It's insane. Fire. It's insane. I freaking love it. Oh my God, dude. Dude, love it. If only I could get Andy over here to tint the windows. Oh my God, yeah, that would look sweet. Yeah, I wanna go 5% or I don't know. I want to, but- I Just do like double layered 5%. So the boat may or may not be a clue for what we're working on with the beat. Yeah. Little, 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 little hint. bit, little, little hint. I say it is gonna look sick. The beep is disassembled. Yeah. Wow. Fenders are off, were they easy to take off? Oh yeah. Dude. Okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, mirrors are off. Everything's Door handles off. out. Everything's off, dude. We're cooking. We're ready to, here's the other thing. Do you want me to take these off or do you want me to leave them? It doesn't matter. I don't care. I would, I would say take them off. Take them what off. What do you think? Yeah. I, okay. I mean, that's your call. Apparently, like, the Sahara is, means nothing anyway, yeah. so. I didn't know if it was a sin to take them off or not. I don't, I don't think so. Jeep. I think I mean, we're good. And I think people know what it is. Yeah. There's not too yeah. many vehicles that look like this, I don't think anyway. We can leave the trail rated that. You're gonna do the leave that on? Yeah. What do you think? I do like to that on? to put it back on. Besides, I don't know if there's a hole behind it or not. I don't know either. Um, I mean I do like I do like trail rated though. Yeah, we can leave it. It's not a big deal. So, okay, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get the hood done first, and then we're gonna lay down the moving carpets, and then we're gonna lay this on it so then we get to this piece. Okay. Put that back on quick so it's out of our way. Shane have the challenge now of making it cool in his mind. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't believe in us, then I guess we're gonna have to That's all wrong. I can say. That's about all I got for you. Sorry to leave you on kind of a cliffhanger, but uh, this week is going to be epic on the channel. I do have some car news for you, including news on Grandpa, which I did not sell. And uh, you know, I'm thinking about it, I'll be honest. I am thinking about it at some point, but I did not sell him yet. I'm sure many of you will be happy to know. Um, we got car news, the green truck's coming back, and even some news on the Volkswagen. So I hope you enjoyed this upload. Stick around for that. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.